All right, welcome back to Foundation. So we're back in Riverside. This is the first episode I've made of Riverside since touring uh, Widow's Peak from Patty Fitzgerald, and so I've got a lot of ideas in my head. But I also am going to spend a lot of this episode optimizing and then showing what I've done. And this route, if you've been following these villagers, is a good example of uh, where walls or hedges are needed that could really speed things up. And while I think it's adorable that the villagers have made a nice, loving heart shape here, uh, it's not so adorable that they take this roundabout route just to get to the bridge. So that's one thing I'm going to be fixing. And uh, the second thing is I want to make sure that before I... I so, so I'm increasing uh, bread production and I'm increasing fishing, but I want to make sure before I increase it anymore that we're actually optimized. So remember when I first started this episode I was going to go no warehouses for food or goods and that's not going to be the case anymore for the next version and so there's no reason for me to stick to that with this version and I'm trying to figure out or think about what I want to do to get bread over here. Now in the next version Every warehouse can store uh, 100 in each slot rather than 50, so 400 total. Um, so let's look at this. Let's turn on the interface, for example, and look at this. And by the way, I'm, I'm tracking the budget here, and uh, we are at uh, still at minus 5,000. It's fine. Anyway, uh, each of these slots can store 50 for a max capacity of 200. That'll change to a max capacity of 400, and there will be four transporters. So warehouses are really going to kick some serious butt in the next version. But I want to get bread out of here. So if you look at all these bakeries, every one of them has a positive number of bread. And so now if you think about the way I'm doing things, uh, let's take one of these markets, for instance. Uh, one of these guys sells bread. Yeah, you. You sell bread, okay? So you want to go get bread, and you're going to make one trip to go get bread. And that one trip may be any one of these. But you can't get any bread from here, so you're not going to go there. You're going to get 12 bread from here. You're not going to get 50 bread. You're going to get 12. And perhaps that's a problem. So I did have a warehouse over here uh, storing bread. One of the reasons they're pathed like this is because I had a warehouse right here that stored bread. And uh, building complete stone gate version 3. I think that's the bridge. Yes, the other tower finished. Look at that. Nice bridge. Uh, yeah, that's the reason they're walking around here. What I'll do is I'll, I'll redirect them. I don't mind this route. Everybody taking this route so it goes through the markets. But, um, oh good, we're, we're up to negative 8,000. Yeah, totally rocking it. And, but, uh, I don't want them to go this way. And would, uh, would two, two bread warehouses work here to bring the bread over? And then a bunch of markets. So I'll give that a try. The other thing I'm going to do is uh, clear out this area, get rid of these guys. I'm building a bunch of warehouses over here. I started that last episode. I'm going to abandon these berry huts. Uh, if you look way over here, I'm building the berry huts over here. And um, oh, I have turned off authorized housing density upgrade, which means I'm going to get a lot more houses by bringing new people in but I've got it turned off currently but I'll be turning it back on at some point soon and what else right more warehouses more fishing clear this out get rid of these fishing huts and then I think some giant market complex here uh, might do us well uh, something in here and uh, because we've got a lot of ways to get to this area and so I'll have to have a think about that and uh, maybe set up some warehouses to get uh, goods close to here so that all these markets can stay stocked. And also, of course, evaluate the pathing and where people are walking. But um, And then uh, after that, I might play around with some more mods, but we'll see how far I get. I think a bridge right here would do good. Um, it kind of goes straight here and then also maybe go ahead and put a bridge in here 
and clear out some of these pines so we can get a nice trail going through. And that connects, that's a slightly faster connection. Not really, but I want to do stuff on this island. Um, berries for one, but we can cut down some of this wood here. Potentially build more housing if we need it on this island. And um, yeah, yeah, might as well use it. So one wooden bridge coming up. Uh, we need 450 planks. How many planks do we have? Um, we have 10. Ugh. Suddenly, suddenly my production is low. Now I'm selling planks. Let's go ahead and start construction. We don't have enough planks to finish it very quickly. And is that because I am trading planks? I think I set trading of planks to above... Yeah, above 300. So, uh, we're just low on plank production. And why are we low? I moved everything over to here. And, uh, I told you to stock planks, which you're not. And you're doing the sawmill thing, and you're doing the sawmill thing. But, uh, perhaps our woodcutters aren't cutting wood. They're not out of wood. They've got plenty. This, this whole area is set as extraction. The whole thing, look at this. The whole area, they can extract in this whole area here. So, um, yeah, I don't know exactly. Uh, we are a little low on builders. I'm doing a lot of building, so I'm just patiently waiting for a lot of these things to build. Like, for instance, I, I built this warehouse here. I started this warehouse a long time ago. But because of the bridge construction, we were uh, low on stone for the longest time. And we still are. But uh, I think it'll catch up eventually. We're still pr we still have enough producers, and I added a few more. So these warehouses were done. Uh, these guys are going to store the polished stone. Uh, this one's going to store just regular stone. And I've turned this on. Four or five stone cutters assigned. If we can go up to one more, uh, Ragnil, um, you add to this, right? And then these berry huts finished. Uh, I had to tear one down here because I packed them all around in a circle and nobody could get in. But um, this replaces these, those berries way, these, those, them, berries way over there. And uh, same thing. We got Maurice and Ulifarius. And then uh, let's sign some unemployed Leah. A lot of these were, uh, were from the other uh, berry huts. Bertrandus and Annabelle, right? Get it, get on it. And Goat Run. And the Land Killed. Assuming the W is silent. And Muriel. Okay. And what do we got here? Uh, cause, and you see how I'm keeping this open. I'm looking for villagers to get stuck. So far, so good. Elviva. And Alu. Yep. And uh, Agilbertus. Humperdink. Right? And then, will you be able to get in here? I think you will, as long as you get in the front or back. Alright, come on, clear it up. There we go. Where? And Quindles. And Benajoia. Boy, these names. Boy, these are, those are awful close together. I have a feeling I'm going to have to tear one of these down and scoot it over. But we'll see if it works. We'll see if they can get in the back. And yes, I remember to do an extraction zone. So, how about that? Uh, around here, too. I know, crazy. Absolutely crazy. Although I don't see any workers here. Uh, dare I? Hey, Leon. Leon, you're on free time? You're preparing for work? Free time? Free time? I am working. Where, where are you? Okay, you're, you're coming over here. That's good. So at least you're going to work in the right spot. Yeah, 1x speed. Whoo, slow. Yep, there you go. You're going to work. And you're going to go right over here and put the hammer down. That's what we're talking about. Yep, right there. Perfect. Okay, good. Good, I'm glad to hear it. And we have two stonemason huts that are slowly producing uh, polished stone. If 
there ever is any. Has the polished stone been removed from here? Yes. Nothing here anymore. You're destroyed. Nothing here anymore. You're destroyed. And nothing here anymore destroyed. Right. The whole front lawn of the castle is clear. And how about these fisher huts? Now zero fish gone. And zero fish gone. Perfect. All clear. So now, here's one thing I discovered. I put... Let's look at the zone. So I put this little squiggly line here. Some of these uh, uh, fishermen were going over here and they were getting their heads chopped off on this bridge. It was ugly. So I blocked them and that's good. Now they fish over here. Unfortunately, these, all of these that I put on this side of the island are going all the way around here and fishing over here, which means I should have put them over here. Wouldn't have that been awesome? And I don't know where you're going. How cl wh where do you go? I think the fishing area is right here. See, in the new version, you can see the fish. Yeah, there's the fishing area. And like I, we're, we're a little short on builders, so some of this is taking a while, and a lot of houses are building. And, uh, yeah, short on stone. It's almost like we have the planks, but we're short on stone. So I have to wait for the stone to stock back up again. We still have one. One. But hey, the hedge work, check it out. A little squiggly line. The old uh, city heart is uh, dying, but that's a much straighter path across the bridge. And uh, what are you? Why are you walking? Why are you walking that way? What are you doing? But yeah, that's what did I have? I done anything else? No, just assignments. And I'm a little worried about the plank situation. Why am I so low in planks? Is it that I'm low in wood? We have 40 wood. And this warehouse, which I'll prioritize building, but um, it is being held up for stone. This warehouse was going to hold wood. I'm wondering if I've made a mistake here. And this... Let's do that. Let's change this warehouse to all wood. And let's assign somebody else here. How about Laglia? And Wintanalia, you go fetch the wood. And let's get some wood in this area. And then I will evaluate the plankage situation and put up another warehouse for planks if we need one. Come the day that uh, the sawmills are full of planks, I will rejoice from the message that they're full of planks and I will fix it. Um, in the meantime, um, we have a significant number of unemployed. And uh, we're still waiting on a lot of things to be finished, including these bakeries. And what are the bakeries waiting on? Stone. Man. Remember how much stone I used to have? What a revolting development. All right, this warehouse is finally complete. The point here was to store... Oh, look, there's stone. Was to store wood for our Fletchers because... Uh, well, the Fletchers are stealing stone. I'm thinking... I'm thinking the Fletchers might be creating, shall we say, a situation. I am going to pause Fletching. I'm going to keep them employed, but I'm going to pause it for a while. And... Because they're hogging an awful lot of stone. And this warehouse is going to store more wood. And then if we can ever fill this up, maybe I'll put the other one back to planks eventually. Look how close some of these people are. Hossy? Right. Go get us some wood. And then you, uh, you've got six wood sitting right there. And you've got two, and you've got six, and you've got two. I think we have plenty of wood. And should I put more stone? Yeah, it's a warehouse. It's the, uh, it's the trader dude. At the warehouse. And you want to buy ten fish, zero honey. You've bought all our honey. And you still want to buy ten weapons. We're selling the weapons, man. We've got 87 of them. 
Uh, I wish somebody would buy the arrows. We're not going to make arrows for a while because of the stone situation. However, uh, I could put a stone cutter camp right here. I mean, why not? You know, it's all about, it's all about making plans and then changing them. Okay, what, what did I, what exactly did I do? Right, this is already, ooh, that was close. This is already here. Uh, it was that nice line here. That's the reason. And then this was already half done. Okay, and yeah, let's just go go ahead and put a stone stone cutter camp in here, right here. There we go. That'll make us some more stones. Where am I going to put the stones? I don't know. I don't know. That's for me to think about later. This is all wood right now. Go get the wood. There's plenty of wood around. Yeah. It is, uh, I mean, so happiness is sitting at 90, okay? Uh, six villagers are lacking clothing, five villagers are lacking, uh, housing. Uh, I don't know what to do about the housing, uh, except make more residential areas, which I have done over here. And, ah, density one. Desirability average. Uh, really? Really? Just average? Do I, should I, do I need to put a church over here? That, well, a church takes a lot of stone. How about we just put another market in? All right. Let's just put another market. Let's put a goods market over here just because. Goods. Another food market over here just because. All right. To, to lift up the desirability. We'll put it right on the, right on the road here. And we'll, we'll give him a red tent. Alright, and you know, I'm so unoriginal with this. You saw how cool uh, some of the markets looked in uh, Widow's Peak. I'll add a barrel, okay? Here's a barrel. Right there. And uh, that, yeah, okay. That's as much as I can do. Uh, and hopefully that'll increase value. Let's turn the desirability layers residential. It's not super green. Why is that? This is really red here. Oh, it was. It looks like it just updated. Okay. So we'll see. We will see. In the meantime, uh, yeah, let's get that stonecutter camp built. This warehouse built. Um... We don't know where these where these people are. And if we go over here, what are we looking at? Yes, you need stone, but you know what? Uh, let's take a look at the stone. We still have zero, wow. All right, well, I'm basically waiting on stone. All right, next warehouse finished. Uh, this was the one right on the road here, and I was going to have this do fish because they can get fish from a lot of different places here. And we'll see if that helps any. Uh, yeah, fish, fish, and more fish. And we will assign two. Gold Run and Leod. Go get us some fish. And you storm right here on the end of this island. And uh, that won't be smelly at all. And maybe that will help with the fish situation. We only have 270. You know how I like to have over a thousand fish, right? All right, this little stonecutter camp is complete. And we have some villagers that live really close. So this is ideal. Orbalis and Sperling and Colbin. And Leonard and Sineda. Uh you're all in. Start cutting some stones. Uh, this had filled up with some wood, but um, the other warehouse, which I reassigned to wood right over there, was also filling up slowly. So you know what? Um, let's go ahead and turn this to stone, so we're storing it right next to where the uh, stone cutters camp is. I have every right to change my mind. Uh, as many times as I want. And, oh, tearing down a tree. 
and uh, most people say cutting down a tree and right and once that once this starts getting stocked then we'll turn these guys on but they need wood bad too but they can come over here for wood you have got a uh, 10 wood in stock and the sawmills there you've got 16 planks so but you don't have any planks and you don't have any planks and that's the jackpot of pot of <laughs> jackpot of planks right there do we need more sawmills i don't think so i don't know well that well yeah we gotta let that sort itself out there's room for something else right here i just don't know what i want to put in there and then yeah i haven't started building the marketplace here yet but i'm thinking about it and then this new little warehouse that i put fish in we've got 25 and 2 so somebody's using it 264 fish 198 bread we're at 87 happiness 79 villagers are suddenly lacking food for no reason whatsoever uh and we've got honey we've got a lot of honey um and 530 berries it's just interesting that suddenly everybody's running out of food when it wasn't that way just a minute ago so definitely some balancing problems a foot what do you hold oh you hold bread over here i forgot about this and then these are going to be bread here as well uh, so i already did the bread thing but every time I look at this, look at all the bread that you guys are holding on to. Well, I saw 20. All right, I don't know, but we have more warehouses. And anyway, these bakeries are getting finished. So I did this one before with Antoine and Magus. And then here's another one. And we're grabbing villagers that live right over here. So uh, it's Domnail and Thom, sometimes known as Tom. Um, you're new, new bakers. And how many eggs do we have now? 60 eggs. Nobody's buying eggs. I mean, they're not used to them. Alright, there's only one place that sells them, and that's right here. And... What else? Nope, that is about all that's going on. For the moment, it's uh, I can't speed up the game anymore because uh, I run out of everything, and so I am just impatiently waiting for uh, stuff to build. And I mean, it's been almost a full hour since I started these warehouses building. A full hour of game time, and uh, they're still not finished. And the holdup is the stone and the planks, both of which are pretty low. So we wait. And you're walking on water again, lady. Alright, this market over here near the edge of the world has finished. Also note flowers or bushes to try to increase the property values over here. And uh, why did I want to show this? Because... We're going to install the love run to this market, and the love run is going to be running after fish. So, go get them, love run. Uh, I like this little area, too, with these oaks. Uh, did I allow you to tear down these oak trees? I say no. No, 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 no. You can no longer do that. You've built enough. Yeah. We're on, a sa uh, we're on the neighborhood uh, Save the Trees. Uh, I know you built your house here, but now we're changing the rules. That should keep at least one oak. Okay, good. Because I really like the way it looks. These It looks so cool when they keep the trees. And will these warehouses ever get finished? Ever. Alright, fine. Uh, thank you. This was going to be bread. I'm going to I'm going to stick to that idea for now. And we'll see what happens. Bread with two transporters. All right, and I should have some people fairly close here. Yeah, Mazalina and Clarandra. Uh go get us some bread, please. Bring it over here so we can sell more of it. Because our little 
markets here. Yeah, you've got you've sold 35 bread, but you only have one right now. And we still have 54. Oh, 54 villagers lacking clothes now. Weren't they lacking food before? And now they're lacking clothes. So yeah, yep. It seems to it seems to switch back and forth. But if there was abundance of everything, I don't think I'd be having this problem. There's now 500 clothes. And I did make this warehouse hold clothing, and we have 26. But with these versions of the warehouse, there's they just can't bring it over fast enough because they can only hold 50 per slot. And apparently only carry 50 at a time. Um, and so if we review that, we now have 366 wool, 339 cloth. Which probably means I could build more tailor's huts and I had cleared this area out to build more tailor huts. So let's do that. Let's build more and that uh, will provide more jobs. Because we do kind of have an employment problem. And so let's just keep putting them in a row here. And we'll put one here. Uh, I can't see. So I'm going to have to just do two at a time. And we'll put you right here. Just leave a tree. Leave a tree. Right there. Okay. Two more. All right. All is still good. But these bakeries are still not finished. The deuce is bringing the one stone needed to finish this thing up. So it won't be long. All right, all the bakeries have finished. Who do we got? Bartholomewless. Why does it? Why is, you don't really live that far away, do you? No, you just so that's. I mean, that's not very far at all, and that is considered. Uh, you live. Uh, you hasn't updated yet. Okay, well, um, that's pretty close. And then yeah, 146 meters and. Brick Tiva, 146 meters. You probably live in the same spot. And then here, um, let's get uh, Tionis and Hartmut. Uh huh. So I got that one, got that one. This is an older one. This one's empty. Comgale or Athlena. And then the Comgale. All right, and I think this is new. Nope, this is nope. That's Dom Nail and Tom. Tom Bombadil is in this one. All right, more bakers. So we're currently sitting on 784 flour and 524 wheat. You would like to think that this would improve the bread production, but it will take a while. Everything takes a while when you're dealing with 1,249 villagers. Everything, every change takes a while to settle in. And so we'll just have to see. This warehouse is finished and you two haven't gotten any bread yet because you're awesome like that. Nobody is stuck. So for this market over here, and why not make another giant market? Uh, I think I want to use... Uh, let's see. It's a decoration. It is the town square. This one. Yes. And how do I want this to look? All right, because this is going to erase the grass zone around here. All right, let's let's just let's let's just put it down. Don't panic. Let's just put it down. And then if I have to move it, I have to move it. There we go. There's a square, which is obviously not square. So let me go like this a little bit let's put another one down here that's nice and square and then another one uh, right here that's almost perfect look at that yeah it perfectly lines up don't look anymore okay so there we have that going on and then what do I want to use for do I want to just do banners or do I want to use the 
Stone Gate set version three and Rampart no gate. Do I want to use the gate kind of to say this is how you get in and out of the market? Um, well, that doesn't really work, does it? Because it's right there in the middle. Uh, but maybe if I go like this, okay, and you come in over here like so. Right? You can see how long I'm going to spend on this. More fishing huts are in my future. Um, since we know that the fishing spot is on that side, let's start building them over here. I was denied. Um, right, it's the wrong way. Right, the, the bag goes... Yeah. That was almost a bad mistake. There's one. Uh, the amount of time that I've put into just this episode of the game is extreme. Going on four solid hours now. But... You know, I had these same whiny complaints about the last time I got a village this big. I would start a new one, but we know that the next version of the game is going to come out um, any day now. Probably within the next five to six days. So uh, I just want to end this, you know, uh, and then start a new one in the new version. Um, and the new one, I will not use, I, I, at least in the start, I'm not going to use any mods because there's not going to be any mods for that one. But um, I definitely will once they become available. Uh, they will have to be not rewritten, but um, they will have to be changed to work with the new version. Alright, oh, this looks good. So these trees grew up, and it appears, now why, why did I not do that? It appears that you are dodging the trees. Artful dodging. Perfect. You're coming around just like that. You're coming through here just like that. Uh, by the way, I, f I corrected this. I fixed it. I put it the other way. But then I left this big block. They're probably saying, what, what the heck is this, dude? It's just a block. What are you worried about? Forget about it. It's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, now... Uh, if I could put just a bunch of markets in here and see we'll see see what happens just pile them in sawmills finished finally it only took about 30 minutes real time and hey business give me the business and uh, Huck Burtis let's see I've seen the name Huck Burtis before and uh, Christopher there you're in Good job, guys. Cut some wood. What do we got? Now we're sitting on zero wood. And how many planks do we have? Uh, we're going to have zero planks. Are planks up here? Yeah, zero. Don't want to hover over that. There we are. The planks are way down here for some reason. Zero. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we still need wood. Having a, having a real hard time getting people to cut down trees. There's plenty of places to cut trees down. Don't know what the deal is, but maybe you could work harder, huh? You remember when I said I was gonna build this church and we just let it go slow because it was gonna use up a lot of stone? It just finished and now I remembered it. Right, that's what was taking up all the stone. Uh, well, we've got another church, so got that much going for us. All right, another hour and a half, and I've planted a bunch of decorative trees, but I've also zoned this for reforestation, and I made a reforestation camp here, forester camp, with good Fritas is going to mix some pines in there, and we'll see how that looks. And uh, I did a little archy thing there. And, um, it's interesting, uh, this area does not stay clear until you restart the game. Um, so the grass will slowly grow back, but when I restart the game, it clears it back out again. So, it's not perfect. The monument is not perfect, but all you have to do is restart or put a new monument down and it clears out the grass. Uh, I'm building a lot more fishing huts. You see them snaking back there? Yep. 
And uh, I'm looking at the arrows. So two sold this week for four. So the each arrow sells for two. Uh, the problem is now the Fletchers don't have any upkeep cost, but they're, they're using a lot of my stuff. And uh, like, what are you getting there? You're bringing in more stone. Yeah, I just... You need two wood and one stone, and you're stealing all the stone. Um, and we do have uh, 162 stone in stock now, so it's not that big of a deal. And we're also up to 21 planks. Check out the, the fish are 437. The bread has skyrocketed to 1,000. The clothing is up to 730, so that's doing well. Um, and I have less and less unemployed. Um, let's take a look at that. We're sorted by job. Let's get all the way to the bottom. And I still have a number of unemployed. So my goal by the end of this episode is nobody unemployed, easy peasy, and a profit, check it out, minus 1,601. Check it out. And uh, we, uh, my territory taxes have been reduced. And what's, what's my explanation for doing that? Rampant corruption. What would you think? I forgot to mention, uh, well over 900 berries. We were at 1,000 just a little bit ago. So we're, we're doing 1,000 berries. We're doing 1,000 bread. We got 1,800 honey, 75 deer. Uh, and we're selling those somewhere. And uh, 890 uh, clothing. Happiness is sitting at 94. Five villagers are lacking homes, which probably means they're still under construction. Or... I need to um, expand my residential zones. I'm going to have to check that out. Yeah, I've expanded it here. Um, near where I built the new tailor huts. And uh, their tailor workshops, that is. So if somebody needs to build, they could build over there. But I believe um, the issue is just lack of materials. Because we have some houses going up over here. Uh, like here's one and here's two more. And we just don't have uh, material to build them yet. Um, it's just a slow process. And I still, I have not turned immigration back on uh, for the entire time. So, obviously, uh, we need more supplies. We're, we're up to 54 wood now. Um, the other thing I did, just to keep up with what's going on, uh, I built more lumber camps here, and I'm taking out all the pines. Not the oaks, though. But all the pines near the vineyards so that I can expand the vineyard since I keep getting that message that they can't find any grapes. Uh, so perhaps I could actually increase that. And you can see this, I increased this one. And uh, we have to, no I didn't. I didn't increase this one yet. I increased this one over here. Let me fly over really quick. Here it is. Yes. Uh, this actually wasn't used so I just increased this area. Nope. And we have a lot more grapes here now. And I think they can handle the whole thing. So possibly I just made all my grape or vineyards, grape yards, <laughs> too small. Uh, and I am cutting down these oaks so that uh, we get more production up in here. But that's just the way it goes, man. Some oaks have to be taken down, just not very many of them. And good, we have little pines here. All right. You're planting little pine trees in here. That's good. And then you're going to be taken down really quick because pretty soon you're going to run out of places to plant. Uh, I just want to see how the pines look mixed in with the uh, decorative tree. Man, if only I could plant oaks. That would be the best. Oh, and uh, this grouping of uh, not berries, but uh, decorative bushes and trees here. You just barely see some berries there. I know, I know. It's no fancy-dancy decoration, but... It looks better. All right, so Patty uh, just told me the trick to uh, burying um, these gates in the ground. And you might be able to do this with any monument. Um, I just apparently haven't been paying attention. But basically, you um, situate the first piece like as low as you can. Let's say like this. You make sure snapping is on. And then you simply keep snapping right and it fairly straightforward it's gonna snap in the ground 
Whoops. See, and now you have these pieces in the ground like this. And then you can continue to snap all the way around. And that is how to get the look, at least with this piece of it in the ground. And you know, uh, that also looks like a bridge, doesn't it? Right? But um, yeah, we're not gonna do that right now. Anyway, uh, here's the way the uh, market looks right now. Uh, these trees uh, shade the benches, except for that one bench. But um, we shade the benches here. I used some rope, uh, some decorative bushes. I even put in a sign. And uh, this is doing pretty well. And, uh, you know, I like the looks of it. For some reason, I'm building a wooden Lord Manor here. Why? Because I thought it might look good. We'll see how it looks. But, um, I don't know. I don't know. It looks good. And uh, I've been building fisher huts. Let's look at this. So, 1,029 fish, 1,300 bread, 1,200 clothing. And because these are now becoming easier and easier to find, 1,273 berries, uh, the production is all starting to go up. Uh, for instance, suddenly grapes is up to 720. Why? I have no idea. They started talking about how their grape fields were full. Now, I'm cutting down trees, but I haven't really expanded anything yet. The only field I expanded was way over on the other side. So... Perhaps I just didn't have the grape fields big enough. But soon these trees will be cut down and you bet I'm going to expand them. In the meantime, the fisher huts have been completing. And uh, that's right, we don't even... Oh, there's somebody without a boat. Uh, we don't even have um, all the uh, fisher huts complete yet. Or filled yet. There's another one. Gemana uh, mana mana What? Gebanak right you're fishing and this one on the end is now finished uh sissy sure fish all the way down at the end and uh i redid these a little bit because when this one was here it blocked and nobody could get down here um and i believe there you go again you haven't popped up the whole time as soon as i start recording boom but that'll give us even more fish. Uh, I've been planting these wheelbarrows. These wheelbarrows actually fit on the bridges. It was sized uh, just so it fits on the wooden bridge. And I don't know, I don't like unused space. What should I use here? Or should I keep it unused? I don't know. Um, I am putting tents on these remaining things. But if we look at some of these markets, I have triple markets on this side. And uh, yeah, this has sold hardly anything. But uh, this one, five clothing. See, wherever I put clothing, let's see, we have grapes and nobody's buying them. Get in there and buy them. Wherever I put uh, clothing, it gets bought. Uh, seven fish, six fish, no berries. That's fine, you don't like berries. No berries, no bread, no bread. That's fine if you don't want to buy it. Let's look at the profit. Uh, minus 1,491, and there's been a couple of weeks when that was above zero, okay? So, I have my fingers crossed. I'm not there yet, but I said I'd get there, so I'm still working on it. Alright, I'm putting in a fish warehouse way over here. This is the other side, the, the farming side of town. And uh, I already have a shirt warehouse, clothing warehouse, right here. And I set it to stock maximum so that they'll pull clothing from wherever they can get it, including other warehouses. I'm doing the same with the fish. Stock maximum. Fish. Ansevald and Dub. Yo, Dub. And uh, they should be able to stock maximum. So I'm still staring at the budget. I'm obsessed with it. And uh, you can see, so far for this week, we sold 22 berries, uh, 4 honey, and 30... Uh, polished stone why only four honey I'm not sure I think that probably means there was only four at the warehouse so potentially this is a warehouse issue okay and because honey stays here well there's plenty here now yeah I don't I don't I don't know why that happened right why would we only take four 
but uh, that is the way it happened. And right, and there's just they just don't they're not gonna the traders aren't all gonna make it at the every every week. And yeah, that it's crazy. It's crazy now. The vineyard parts are all full. This could be a barrel issue though, because we have zero barrels. The wine production just crashed down to zero. The grape production increased. And we now have 2,600 cloves, <laughs> 2,000 fish, almost 2,000 bread, almost 2,000 berries handled. All right? The food situation has been handled. 95 happiness, and somehow we got down to four villagers are lacking a home. I have no idea how. I have to end it for this time because I'm just flat out of time. I still have a number of unemployed, although we're down to about a page now, which is good. I mean, I could assign them all to builders and say, yeah, I don't have any unemployed, but I'm not going to do that. And I'm not making a profit. And man, did I get close. I got so close. Like I said, uh, one one week I made plus 400. I don't know I don't know what the magic was. But um, right, not right now. And uh, I mean, it'll be positive until the very end of the month when I think upkeep cost kicks in. Well, it's already kicked in a little bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'll just stare at it for a few more weeks. Well, I gave it another two weeks, and sure enough, I'm starting to lose more and more money without doing anything. Uh, I even had trade income of 500 on this one because the 10 swords were sold. But, um, yeah, that was it, and none of the berries or anything else. So, negative uh, 43.87, so that's $300 worse, $400 worse than the previous week. It's frustrating, but I don't know. Uh, it's 1,265 villagers, 95 happiness. The food problems are well behind us for now. Uh, as a matter of fact, all the problems are well behind us. Look at the wool production, 1242. Uh, honey is way up there. Shirts, 2,800. We're getting to the point now where I think if I had time, I would just start to add more villagers now and probably you know, do I even want to say it? Probably at that point, um, I would make a profit because I just assign them to builders and they would just buy stuff. Uh, I, I don't know. I have no confidence because that thing's gone in the wrong direction too many times. But, um, anyway, um, I had, I had a profit of 480 or something like that for one week. No idea how I did it. <laughs> But I have pushed this city to the limits. The behemoth up to the left here uh, kind of shows that. And it looks darn impressive, doesn't it? Uh, that is one massive castle. And uh, I do like this market. And I'm not done adding villagers. Uh, we're kind of getting to the point here where if they drop the new version this week, uh, I will start a new city. And I'll try to do a city tour um, of Riverside here uh, a little better than I did the last the last time. But um, there's not as you know it's not as good looking as, as Widow's Peak. Let's face it. But uh, anyway, do one last city tour and then start a new village. Um, if they don't, then uh, Riverside uh, continues. But yeah, I don't know. Yeah, this market looks pretty cool. But again. Only the left side selling anything. The right side, they're not selling anything. I guess it's just not enough people to buy. I don't know. Looks busy, though. All right. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you later.